take for granted all these thumbs we got. What's up and welcome back everybody. On today's video, we're gonna see if venomous snakes can solve a puzzle. Let's get it started. All right guys, so here we have my buddy Happy with me. I this is one of my best friends. I grew up with this crazy guy in Loxahatchee, Florida. He loves animals, he loves snakes, so he's here today to help me. Now what we got, we have one of these little dog puzzles. So you can see there's these little lips to where they can either push them around and get a treat, or they can pop the lip open and get a treat. We're gonna see if a snake can actually solve this puzzle. Now, one of the big things I wanna do with reptiles when it comes to crocodilians, gators, and snakes is prove just exactly how intelligent they really are. I think most of these snakes, especially these cobras, are gonna do really well when it comes to solving this puzzle. So let's bust out the food. So there's three techniques that these snakes can do. They can either lift up this little white one and get the mouse, they can lift up this little red one and get the mouse, or they can slide this over and get the treat underneath, which is gonna be a rodent, either a mouse or a small rat, either or. All right, guys, this is what's on the menu today. Right here, we have some small rats. Well, these are two mediums. We got two mediums, a bunch of small rats for all the cobras, and a couple little rat pups that we're gonna feed to some of Tyler's snakes and my smaller guys. What does it smell like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you guys didn't know, Happy, like I said, loves animals, but he also does love handling snakes and venomous snakes. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to let Happy feed about half of these venomous snakes today. It's going to be sick. The first snake we're going to feed is this albino monocled cobra, a super crazy snake. We're going to feed two or three snakes before we do this puzzle, and then we'll hop back and forth. But look at this. This is actually my black and white spitter, and you can see if you back up, look at the venom on the cage. All that right there is venom. You can see it's actually a clear venom. All right, let's feed this crazy cobra. And this black and white spitter, look at this guy. He's so crazy. Look at all that venom right there. We're gonna feed this guy next. I'll actually let Happy feed this guy because I don't wanna get spit in the eye. That's logical. <laughs> <laughs> and remember guys, if you are feeding venomous snakes, use your tongs, use your tools because feeding venomous snakes, they turn into a whole different animal. If a snake is in feeding mode, they're gonna bite. It's not if, it's when they're gonna bite. So all these snakes, they've been smelling these rats all day. They've been defrosting in this bucket. So you don't want to free handle. You don't want to trust any of these snakes when they're in feeding mode. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab one of these small rats. That looks like a good meal. Let's get it started. You never know if the cobra's hiding on the top lip. So you always want to go towards the hide. See if the snake's in there, which she is. So beautiful. Woo! Crazy snake. This right here is a monocled cobra, one of the best show cobras in the world. Woo hoo! Look at how tall she is. <laughs> Bro, she's hooding up like a king cobra right now. Like, like, you want to be extremely careful. As you guys can see, she strikes with her mouth open. A lot of cobras won't strike with their mouth open, but this snake right here doesn't play any games. Let's see if we can get her out. She definitely smells that mouse. But like I was saying, these are one of the best show cobras. Now these right here is what a lot of guys use for free handling and performing venomous snake shows with just because they perform so good. Look at that hood. Woo! You guys can see this snake has no problem eating this rat, even in the middle of my snake room. She doesn't have to be in her cage to eat. These snakes are so food motivated, they'll eat this rat anywhere. I could probably hold this cobra with my hand and she'll still eat that rat. <laughs> just like that. Look at that snake. He doesn't care about anything right now other than eating that rat. One of the most venomous snakes on the planet, a monocled cobra, eating a rat in my hands. All right, let's get this guy in there. Whew, look at that. He's holding on to that thing like a pit bull. He does not want to let go. All right, is it too soon for a nail gun joke? Happy. You didn't spin cobra? Suit up. Safety. <laughs> I don't want to lose my visions. I need to keep my 10-12. All right, Happy, remember, this is a spitting cobra. You know why they call them spitting cobras? They drool a lot. They spit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this thing could <laughs> All right, I'll open this side of the cage. That way I don't get spit okay. on. All right. Guys, this snake is actually from Indonesia. A relatively venomous snake. Nothing you really want to get bit by. All right, look at that. Whew. 
And this thing you have to be very careful because this black and white spinning cobra will let go of that rat pup in two seconds and bite you in the hand. Look at the hood on her, so beautiful. Just throw this other pup in there. You did well, son. Thanks, man. You did well. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Dogs at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at all these snakes. I love having just different snakes. Now I could get a blue snake, a black and white snake, a pink snake, a white snake. I love all different kinds of colors of the rainbows when it comes to snakes. I really want one of each, you know? I love the big ones, I love the small ones. I want every single color. Like every color, there's a pinnacle snake. Let's say yellow, Ethiopian mountain viper. Let's say green, Mengsheng viper. Let's say red, squam. Blue, blue and large. There's so many snakes for every single color out there in the rainbow. I think we'll do the puzzle with my most meanest snakes, my pastel monocled cobra. Now he's super mean, but he's also super intelligent. And if there's any snake in this snake room that can solve this puzzle, it's definitely that pastel monocled. I think we can make these fit. Oh yeah. We might not be able to do all of them, but definitely one like that. We'll see if she can get that. All right, put another rat pup in there. Now it doesn't fit perfect, but it fits. Now if this snake comes and pops that lid, you can definitely tell she knows where that prey is at. And she's purposefully going under there and popping that lid to get that rat. She's not just doing it randomly. If this snake flips over this container, it's because they know there's food under here. All right, so we'll do one, two, and we'll do one more under here. So we'll do three rats. Let's see if she can get it. So what happens if they don't find any of them? Well, then we prove a point that snakes aren't that intelligent. They're stupid. Yeah. Well, look. Very good, very good, my snake. This world E is hands down and makes damn this small in my collection. Woo! Super, super crazy monocled cobra. <laughs> Let's see if she can figure out this puzzle. We're just gonna put this right. Woo! Easy mama. Easy mama. We're not playing any games. Or uh, actually, okay, maybe we're playing a game. <laughs> Alright, look at her. Super crazy. Now she's got to smell that. Now what we're gonna do, so that way this snake gets food motivated, I'm gonna take a rat and I'm gonna let her smell it. I'm not gonna let her eat it, but I'm gonna let her smell it. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, so oh, she yeah. smells it. Oh yeah. You know why we're doing this, guys? Curiosity? No, for, for science. science. <laughs> this is what I call bro science. You know, we just get bored and we, <laughs> we do this. We're just bros doing science, man. Yeah, man. Just, can the snake solve a puzzle, yes or no? Probably not. We'll see. All right, so while we're waiting for her to get some action on that puzzle, let's go ahead and feed another snake. Little more cuddle up, man. Oh, cuddle up, man. Man, that snake is more light up than you are. <laughs> yeah, right. right. All right, happy. So the next snake we're going to feed is the Fields Horned Viper. All right, guys, so this right here is the Fields Horned Viper. You guys have seen this snake a lot on my channel. I always like to tell you guys this guy is from the Middle East. He's from Afghanistan, Iran, places like that. He's more of a desert snake. This is a poor man's spider-tailed viper. So happy, let's go ahead. This guy usually eats live prey, so I don't know if he's gonna take this frozen, but we're gonna give it a shot. Look at, all these, look at these little puppy paws right there. Man. Hey, that, that's not a puppy. Relax, <laughs> you're gonna get us demonetized. Feeding puppies to snakes. Give it a little dance. Make it do the two-step. The Everglades hop. Okay, now don't wiggle it as much and put it right on his tongue. Oh, ooh, uh-oh. Give it a little, little one. All right, guys, now with venomous snakes, even if they don't hold on to the prey, if they bite it, you just want to give it to them. Because in the wild, a venomous snake's not just going to bite every single piece of prey and hold on. They have venom. So they're going to bite that piece of prey. They're going to let it die. Then they're going to go ahead and hunt it. All right. Now, you guys know, this Indian cobra is not too bad when it comes to temperament. But when it comes to food, she absolutely goes insane. So we want to be super, super careful when handling this Indian cobra. He's definitely interested in food. Woo! Look at that. That's a heavy strike. That is a heavy strike. That's a lightning fast cobra. Not a snake you want to take a bite by. All right, now I think he got a little bit of taste for that rat. So we should be in feeding mode. All right, guys, now while we're here feeding my snakes on the other side of the room, we're going to go ahead and take care of some metallic snakes. Now, this pearl cobra, the Naja Atra, which you guys saw in the last video, a super crazy snake as well. This guy is actually low on water, so we're going to pull out that water bowl first. We're going to give him some water, and then we're going to give this guy a little snack as well and see if he can solve that puzzle. All right, guys, now when you're working with snakes, never forget, make everything intense. Water, 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 water. I need water fast. Ah, go, go, ah, go, go, go. Come on, go, 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 go. under pressure. Dude, we got venomous. We got venomous. We got venomous. Yeah. We got venomous. Yeah. <laughs> we need to empty out the water bowl first. Go, go, go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to be a uh, server. His back. name's Happy, but they call him the water boy. Hey, this one's water? Come on, bro. What you mean? Bro. My eyesight ain't all that good. You can spit in the face by Cobras too much. Let's get some H2O back in here. A little bit of coconut water for the pearl cobra. <laughs> now that that pasta monocle, I mean pastel monocle cobra didn't do that puzzle, we're just gonna go ahead and give her a small wrap. Robert, be super careful, she's right there. Now she did shed, so I wanna take her shed out first. But happy, Woo! go ahead and give her that half. Or rat, I should say. Oh yeah, she's gonna feed you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Robert, get close, get close. All right, back up, back up. <laughs> oh, 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 behind you. <laughs> Dancing. Ooh, doggy. Oh, almost. Well, she definitely killed it. You got her oh, eyes on right? Good job, girl. Enjoy yeah. that. You deserve it. Ski! All right, guys, so none of these snakes are solving the puzzle. So what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the most intelligent snake, probably out of any snake in the snake room, the King Cobra. Now, this right here is Shativ, Tyler Nolan's. King Cobra, now she's about eight, nine feet long. She's getting absolutely huge. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw this puzzle in here and see if Shatif is smart enough to be the first snake in the world to solve a puzzle. They don't call him the king for nothing. Hey, they call him stupid Cobra if they were stupid, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them, them dumb Cobras. Yeah, they yeah. call them pastel monocle Cobras. Yeah. <laughs> now this snake in the wild would eat rodents, but mainly would eat snakes. I, 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 see, I see that brain picturing. She's thinking. Thinking. What's she what? thinking? What am I thinking? What is she thinking? What are you thinking, Anne? I'm thinking that she's thinking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, you guys know King Cobras are super visual. That's how a lot of guys get away with handling them super crazy. But they also have a great sense of smell as well. So she should be able to figure out this puzzle compared to any other snake in this room. Now, guys, what's happening is I'm moving the phone on the glass and she's kind of getting confused because she smells those rats. But she keeps moving up to the phone because that's visually what's moving. You can see this black and white spitter is just trying to get out of that cage so bad because he smells these rats inside this room. Look at that, guys. When a snake is doing that super twitchy movement, that's a typical hunting movement. Now, when snakes are trying to figure out where something's at or if they're trying to pick up on a scent trail, they do that super jerky, super twitchy movement just like you're seeing right now. Now this guy is acting super crazy when it comes to that feeding response. So if Shatif can't figure out this puzzle, maybe this black and white spitter can. Don't move. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. She's about to solve this puzzle. No way. Don't do them spitting covers drool, man. That's a black and white drooler. That ain't a black and white spitter. That's a black and white drooler, I assume. <laughs> Ophelia figures Ohana means family. family. And family means Fast and the Furious. Oh. <laughs> Remember guys, these are captive bred snakes, so they're they don't have their, their natural instincts all intact. They're spoiled. They're like adopted children. Not the same. Not loved. <laughs> they're literally oh oh oh. Man? Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so the King Cobra didn't solve the puzzle, so we're moving on to the next species. So, guys, contrary to popular belief, uh, the King Cobra is not that smart. In fact, oh. I'd say they're a little stupid. All right, Happy. Now, we're waiting on this black and white spitter to solve this puzzle. Let's go feed the rest of my snakes. Yep. yep. Go ahead, grab one of the small rat pups for okay. Tequila, our Arizona black tail rattlesnake. All right, come over here. I'm going to unlock this cage. But you know, everything's got to be intense. So, keys, keys, let me get keys. 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 All right, guys, so this is Tequila, my Arizona blacktail rattlesnake. Now, she's a snake I like to free handle a lot, but not when it comes to feeding. All right, Happy, we just upgraded this girl into this big vision enclosure, so go ahead and give her a little feed. You know, I actually have a chihuahua named Tequila. Yeah, really? Used to. <laughs> Who'd she die from, Tequila? Age. <laughs> oh! Got that rat? Like that. Right now, Tyler's lost. Tyler's. Did you really touch that? Did you? Did you? Wait, did you though? Possibly. Tyler's. <laughs> All right, we got to figure out which key this is. Let me start that one. Not you should that color one. coat them. Not that one. Like a rainbow. No. Okay, I think that's it. No. No. He does it this way to prevent robbery. <laughs> this right here is Kilo. Now this is Tyler's probably most prized possession snake. This is one of his favorite cobras. Now Kilo actually has no hide in here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab this extra hide. 
we're gonna get some kilo. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like he's in that back right corner. So I'm gonna slide this open for you, Happy. I'm gonna poke the bedding a little bit. We're gonna wait till he pops out, and then you can feed him. Uh-oh, yeah. he's right there. Whew. Now guys, we're not using the tongs on this snake. I'm literally just using these tongs to figure out whew, where he is. All right, happy. Try to go ahead and feed him. Always keep your eyes on the head of that snake. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bring him out the cage, bring him out the cage. Look at that. This is Kilo, the leucistic monocled cobra, having a tiny little snack with this small rat. And the last time we handled Kilo, he was actually a little bit deep in shed. Now he's fresh out of shed, so he looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. He's solely focused on eating that rat. Now you want to be super, super careful because this snake will let go and bite you so fast. He's going to like that as a little snack. Now, Kilo's a big boy. He could definitely eat about medium to large rats, but a small little rat isn't gonna hurt when it comes to his appetite. Ooh, and look at that, guys. It looks like the black and white spitter has solved the puzzle. Yep, look at that. Ooh, we're messing with Kilo. Weren't even paying attention. And this guy went ahead and he solved the puzzle. So he, in return, gets that little treat. You guys can see all that venom right there on the screen. That's because this is a spitting cobra. Congratulations, buddy. You are the smartest snake in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter than a king cobra. All right, guys, so the next snake we're gonna feed today is an albino boa. This is the only non-venomous snake I actually currently have in my venomous snake collection. <laughs> 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 you never know in the snake room. If you get bit, could be a snake. You could be dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back up, back up, everyone back up. Everyone back up. This raw here is an albino boa. This raw here is one of the most dangerous species native to the Amazon. This raw, oh, 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 he's striking. He's a deadly species. He's a deadly snake. One bite from this snake, <laughs> done. You're dead. This raw here is a super rare. Give him a little kiss. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's a bonus. That's a big Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Look pretty at pretty that. Pretty and a lot of you, I actually asked you guys to comment down below a name for this boa. And someone commented Peach, or actually I think a few people commented Peach, which I think is a really, really good name for this boa. So we're gonna go ahead and name this albino boa Peach, the albino boa. Comment down below your favorite snake in this venomous snake collection. I wanna hear what you guys got to say. I got the perfect snake we can feed. Go ahead, grab that rat pup. We're gonna feed Tyler's Blue Insulars. One of the most beautiful species of snake in the world, the Komodo Island Pit Viper. The same island as a Komodo Dragon. Let's feed this bad boy. I like dragons. This right here is the Blue Insulars. Get low. Get low to the whistle blow. Do, 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 do. You know that song, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, now when it comes to snakes, everyone says, oh no, there is no enrichment. The bedding's enrichment. This, the log, this is, no, no, no. This right here, when it comes to snakes and feeding snakes, this is the best kind of enrichment you can do. It's basically a feeding motivated enrichment. So this snake, look at him. He's gonna go absolutely crazy for hours trying to find this food. And that's what you want. You really want to stimulate that snake and give him a challenge. This puzzle is a perfect challenge for these venomous snakes and they're gonna love it. All right guys, so the next snake we're gonna feed today is a Mang Shang Viper. You guys already know my hands down favorite venomous snake in the world. All right, now be extremely careful. Out of all the venomous snakes in this room, these are the fastest striking snakes out of all of them. So just keep that in mind when you're feeding this. Woo, look at that guys. Normal. Oh my God, guys, the black and white spitter is about to solve the second puzzle. Look at that. He's so intelligent, he actually popped the lid on one of those. Now, if he would have done one of those back two, he could have got a rat. But right here, we have a rat in this little white one. So we're gonna see if he can pop the top on that. Oh my God, guys, look, he's so close. He's so close. This black and white spitter. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's not giving up. He's <laughs> not. He literally knows it's under there. His tongue is going underneath that block and he can literally smell it and taste it sitting right underneath there. We always take for granted all these thumbs we got. He's literally taking a bite out of the plastic. I taste the rat was here. Guys, look at that snake. He can literally taste the rat and he's biting it. Now all he needs to do is bite the top of this block 
and then we'll have that second rack. Man, I don't see how dogs are supposed to do this. Like, what do they just like throw the whole thing? There's dogs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so it turns out we were busy feeding snakes, and he got the second one. He got the slaughter, but we didn't get. It. I promise, guys, <laughs> didn't it happen? I think so. They can move blocks and lift lids. Oh yeah, they're just like people, man. He got it. I he got it. it! All those bullies in high school, they're wrong. Snakes so aren't dumb. So let's start with that Chinese cobra. Let's see if we can get her to fly on out of this cage. Now she probably smells this rat already. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now this thing right here has a super potent neurotoxic venom. So if you get bit by something like a rattlesnake, you really have to worry about the localized bite. But if you get bit by a cobra like this, you really have to worry about losing your life altogether. Whew. Yeah, yeah, come on, mama. Look at that snake. She's biting the water bowl. She's biting the bedding. She's biting the cage. This is a snake that will bite you with no hesitance. Come here, mama. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that pearl cobra morph. She's turning almost an absolute white color. She's got that rat. Now, it's actually really crazy working with snakes you've never worked with before because all of my snakes, I know their temperament. I know if they're about to feed. I know how they feed. I know everything about them. Now, when I work with Tyler snakes, I really don't know. I don't know if this spitter is a bad spitter. I don't know if he spits too much, not enough, but Happy is gonna figure out for us. That's who I am. <laughs> Here goes. These things are foggy. It's <laughs> pretty crazy. Crazy. Whoa, look at that spitter, guys. He came out so, so fast. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed watching this black and white spitter solve this puzzle, see all these snakes eat, don't forget, like, comment, and the most important part, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.